Okay. You know, like everyone's mum. Yeah, I do. Okay. Hi, I'm James Welsh. And I'm Robert Welsh. And let's take a journey through viral history. This is your history. weekly reminder. You do that because that's a oh, yeah. phrase. <laughs> Hi, I'm James Welsh. And I'm Robert Welsh. And this is your weekly reminder that we are not the same person. Let's take a journey. You do that. You let's take a journey through viral history. As you can see, we're completely naked. <laughs> As the day God made us. And we're going to start right from the beginning of time. <laughs> Not the beginning of time, because I'm like, the internet wasn't around then. Yeah. But we're going to see the... Uh, mm. But we're going to see the most... Po- we're going to take a look at the most popular products over some years, over some decades. We've been through all of them. Yeah, these are viral products right from, from when? The 60s. Yeah. These are viral products from around 19, the 1980s to now. Now. 2017. 2017. No, let's do that. Let's make it a bit more clearer what we're doing because this looks. I confusing. thought that was clear. Was that clear? So let's go back to the 90s and see what the most. 80s. Vi- let's. 80s. So. 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 Yes, it is. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so let's go back to the 80s and have a look at what the most viral product was back then. And by viral, we don't mean like it was viral. Internet. Like you know, there were magazines. Just lots of people. Come on, there were lots magazines. Of people. Lots of people. Let's do that. And this is, comes from an article we saw on Cosmopolitan.com. Thank you, Cosmopolitan. Let's see, shall we? You're going to curl their hair. You're going to make them stare. Nobody can compare. No one would even dare. Spender. Spender. Round the bend. You've got a message to send. You're going to curl your hair. You're going to make them stare. Oh my god, that's so long. Oh, cute. She had that heated one that I was always scared of. Mm, mm. Benders by Clairol. Bender! I'm excited about this. Ah! Oh, yeah, the actual Benders. Why do they look so. Is this vintage? Yeah. Oh my god, can I keep this? Yeah. Benders! You're gonna bend your hair, you're gonna make Everyone's gonna look at you and you're gonna have your hand. You're gonna look at you. Because you can't get ready in time. Oh my god, how oh, exciting! You know, so I love exciting. this like eighties like writing. Like it just looks like it belongs in a swimming pool, and that's the it. Their kind of makeup is the same color as the Bendo. Bendo. Oh, so they are supposed to be heated. Oh. <laughs> so this must be like yeah, look. So it's like a heated that's pouch. Really cute. That's really Oh my so god. Clever. And these are actually them. I love them. Yeah. Obviously, we're just gonna put these in our hair and Bendo. keep them in them for for aesthetic purposes. Maybe we can spray some hair gel. <laughs> I'm so excited. So like, you? I, you know, I never understood this, how how it, it would curl your hair. No, here's what I think you do. You take it. <laughs> you take it. And then you and roll? I don't know. Benders. Benders! Actually, have a frig like that. And it's oh. just like tie it up. Yeah. Benders! Oh, look at that. Benders! Benders! Actually, I think I need a longer wig. <laughs> You haven't got one, okay. Impossible. <laughs> God, I feel like I'm in a real salon from the eighties. Yeah, can you imagine? Oh, we've just got new benders and do you want to try? And you're like, yeah, I haven't got time to be getting ready on a train. I feel like all these like old fashioned curlers are having a bit of a comeback. Yeah. You look like a spicy girl. I do. Bender yeah, spice. Come- you know what, I love that it doesn't smell like crap. But yeah, but that's because they're not on. Maybe um. when they're on. This is a really cool pouch though. And I guess you could get an electrician to actually like make it real. I would die. Do your hair, do your hair. Benders by Clairol. There's a questionnaire there. Instructions. For best results, use Clairol benders and freshly washed hair. And note, the benders should not form a regimented line. Oh, but should be randomly placed in the hair. That's what we've yeah, done. Yeah, that's, what, that's done. what we've done. Open the benders case and place a unit on a hard, flat, heat resistant surface. Oh, so the bag isn't heat resistant itself. No, that's oh, terrifying. I love it. Plug into the mains and wait approximately, f- that's a long 15 minutes for it to heat up. That's Imagine long. getting your G- GHD. But then, do you remember when GHDs came out? And we're like, oh my God, it heats up in like a minute. It's dangerous. It's crazy. Dangerous. And it just says, get on the train and just wear them, it says. <laughs> <laughs> Only works on a train. Yeah, I, wanna, I wanna keep this in good condition. <laughs> I really like these. I like them too, James. It's a shame, do you know what, it's a shame when like, hair just became straight. I know. Like, poker straight. Just like why they were so viral, I 
I wonder if they were like the first of their kind or something. I can answer this. Go on. Ask me. Go on, I wonder I why. wonder what... They'd be like, oh my God, I wonder why. Go on. Oh my God, I wonder why these are so viral. I don't believe you've asked me this. <laughs> You just asked me to ask you. <laughs> I can't yeah. believe you asked me this. You know what? I think when it came family. to, you know, we love to do like at home, like do it yourself at mm. home. I guess like perming wasn't for everyone. And, and this was when the perm was popular, hair. right? Super curly hair. <laughs> okay, next one. You ready? Yeah. Just, this is really exciting. Ah! Yeah. 1987 is the Caboodle Carry Case. <laughs> I know. We we have previously tried to find a caboodle and it is impossible. impossible. They charge you an arm and a foot. Okay. Unless you want to pay thousands, thousands to get one. Joking. Should we so see how much according to Allure, Cosmopolitan say, the creators of the caboodle were inspired by a photo of Vanna White using a tackle box as a makeup kit in 1987. I see that. I see that. The cult favourite makeup carrier is born. Mind blown, they say. Do you know what? It is it is actually quite convenient. That is really convenient, actually. Do you think you should use hers? No. Have you, do you want to put some bits in it? I wasn't thinking, I was thinking more makeup, Robert. See, because like everything comes up like a little bit high now. But the thing is, there's still room at the top. You still got all that room at the top. Okay, let's try and. All your makeup essentials. That can maybe go over there. Yeah, it's... so you don't it's breathe on people. Okay, it's so organized. When you think about makeup it. bags, actually, this is more day. organized than my current like makeup situation. That's what I mean. Maybe I need a kabuki. But like, what what was this? Was this an at home? Thing. Like, would it be at home? Like, oh my god. Yeah, caboodle. I think it would be on your vanity, and I think it's a really nice positive storage solution. Yeah, I think so. I guess also, um, what's that stuff called? The clear. Makeup. No, but what is it in? The plastic. What's the plastic called? Plastic. What's the plastic okay. called? The acrylic. acrylic. It wasn't invented yet. Wasn't it? Bing! 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 Was it Jen Jen Loves Reviews who found her old caboodle? I don't know. And went through all the makeup. And she no. still had her makeup in it. I need to I see that. I think it was. I love a good find. Yeah, and it was like all out of date makeup, but like Perfect. from that time. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, how exciting. Now, you can explain this one. A, a great and a favorite. This is this is still to this day a, re <laughs> <laughs> a really good mascara. Me? Everyone loves, I think it's iconic to look at though as well. Yeah. Everybody knows that green and pink. Great Lash by Mabel in Do you already own this? I do. I own this. I have a clear one as well. Do you want me to put some on you? Eyes open, look down, look down. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Please die. I hate you so much. It's made my eyelashes look even lower than they already were. This is just a really good, like, you know what? I need a basic mascara. It's going to work. And I know it. So this came out when? 1990. Mm -hmm. Well, 80s, but it seemed to pick up popularities in the 90s. Um, it's very 90s mm. colors. It's a very 90s scheme. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Look, look, look at that curl on it. Marcus, zoom into this. Look, you're not looking. Look I there. I don't know what I'm looking at. Look at how, look there, look there. Look how yeah, I can my see lashes. They look were they not curly before? No, they weren't. Oh my God. <laughs> Such a good mascara. I think it's really underrated because it's like drugstore and it's Maybelline. Maybelline invented the mascara. Did they? Literally. Well, then you should trust them then, no? Huh? So, what? Cousin Poison <laughs> say that you can't talk about the 80s or 90s makeup without bringing up Great Lash, which is why it belongs in 1990. Smack dab in the middle of those two decades, often referred to as the pink and green mascara. This stuff gave your lash the perfect amount of thickness and volume. Yeah, it's it's such a good mascara, honestly. If you like, you're you're, you're trying to find the mascara, Why is and you're, it like, spending your eyelid then? It's for, oh, it's probably just my application technique. <laughs> if you're trying to find a good mascara but don't want to spend for money, get Great Lash. It's great. Get Great Lash. It's great. It's probably what they said. Put that in the caboodle. <laughs> okay, next one. Nice easy one. If you're getting bored with your hair, you should try Tatsy Tail, the incredible hair fashion tool that creates exciting new hairstyles. I remember this. So if you can mm. make a ponytail, you can Tatsy Tail. Simply through. place the Tatsy Tail in the center of the ponytail, thread hair through the loop, and pull for a beautiful new look. And I love that even now. Steps, you can create dozens of dazzling styles for every occasion in no that's, time. That's it's nice all time. right here in the Glamour Guide. Tatsy Tail mm. works on any hair type. Kids love Tatsy Tail too. School time, playtime. 
salon anytime. It's even great for shoulder length hair. Now for less than the cost of one visit to the hair salon, you can order Topsy Tails, complete with Glamour Guide for just twelve ninety five. Order now and we'll also send like twelve ninety five was quite expensive back then. Yeah. In the early 90s, that would have been quite expensive, no? A topsy tail. Do you believe in magic? Magic. Um, for a price of just one salon visit, you could have a new dazzling hairstyles. I do think 12. What's it for like the nine, early 90s? I'm, I am going to round up to 30. 30, I believe. <laughs> oh, what? In, in the equivalent of today? Yeah, I think it'll be like 30 or 20. 25 95, yeah. do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I think that's a lot for a piece of plastic. Yeah, so I'm going to take melatonin again last night. Turn around. Oh, you got my whole ear there. It is happening. Ashton, we might have to do it in your okay. hair. Yeah, okay. should we try it in your hair? Turn around for me, please. We have here a madam. A Give it a that. tug. <gasps> oh, no. No, oh, it's not working. I can't do that to your lap, Sorry, Ashton, honey. Sorry, your hair's not right for this. <laughs> <laughs> This yeah. is terrible. It's typical TV shopping where it makes mm. you think that you need something because it's so easy. Yeah, everything looks and so it's going to change your life and then it's just, it's just it's not. not. So this yeah. is our year, 1999. We were what, 10? What, 10? 10. And all of our friends have these butterfly clips and they are the most fun. The Cosmopolitan most say, fun. though this trend lasted for a few years, as all great trends do, that's the thing with trends back then is they lasted a long, long, a long time. time. The late 90s were all about butterfly clips. Whether your butterflies were of the plastic rainbow assortment or had wings with springs. springs. Do you remember them? Do you remember the springs of little diamonds in? Yes, I do. Everyone was talking about and wearing butterfly clips. Even celebs, they were. They absolutely were. Why that hat? I look, I, I look like the um, older sister from a Goosebumps um, episode. Yeah, you do. I hate my brother. Yeah, stay out of my diet. Get out of my house. Yeah, get out of my house. <laughs> no, I like these. What else did they have? Do you remember the hair bands that had like the name on them? Everyone had their gel names on them. They got fluffy. banned from our school because people kept stealing mm. them from each other. I Why? Because they had their own name on. I don't know. I, I guess they'd pick off the, the sticky. Yeah. I don't know. Marcus. But they were banned. <laughs> So that's such a shame. Everything was banned in school. Yo, yo. Do you remember like baby bands? Baby like bands. What, like shag bands? Yeah, cool. that was a really, that was an issue. That was inappropriate for our age. Like seven, be like, oh, shag bands. Yeah, if someone breaks it, you have to shag. Oh. Don't over accessorize too much. Two thousands. Oh, juicy tubes. Next up, we have Lancome juicy tubes. Juicy tubes. Next up we have, oh it's an actual one. The first tube lip gloss in hit to hit the mark. The first tube lip gloss to hit the market. Mary-Kate and Ashley did it. Mary-Kate and Ashley did it. Juicy oh, tubes yes, were so look. sticky and sparkly and smelly. And that's why they were the lip product of the millennium. In 2016, the product relaunched as a oh, lip my. oil in a shaker bottle called Juicy Shakers. Mm. That smelled weird then. What flavor is that? Peach? Juicy tube. Peach. No. Yeah, you have to. It's all part of it, Robert. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone was doing this. That's when people started doing this in yeah, England, in the UK. But it tastes really good and smells really nice. I don't remember these at all. Probably because we Do weren't not. wearing them. But everyone used to call everything juicy tube. Yeah, everyone was juicy. Like anything, mm -hmm. anything that was like um, in a lip gloss in a, a tube. But we're like, oh, can I get a juicy tube? Uh, but like, you know, when people are like. Sellotape. It'd be like the body shop zone and stuff. You know, I think away. you should just throw that. <laughs> yeah. What year is next? A oh, lip smacker. I actually bought some of these a year ago. Starburst strawberry banana mm. or orange. I'm obviously going to go with strawberry banana. Although lip smacker launched in the seventies. Oh, no, oh right. yeah. This one product that can't be conf confined to a year or even mm. a decade. Anyone growing up in the eighties, nineties, two thousands, uh, use the scented lip balms. However. I specifically remember, not me, someone, who, whoever it is, being an 11 year old girl in 2000 and living mm. and dying by my lip snacker collection. Mm -hmm. So 20, so 2001 felt right. No, that sounds about right. I remember tissue. people in school would um, swap these. They'd have like different flavors. Yeah. Dr. Pepper has to be my favorite because it does taste like Dr. Pepper. But there's something also quite warm about it that didn't feel right. Spicy. This is this tastes like American Starburst. So you know the nice. strawberry flavors that nice. we don't have? That's what it tastes exactly like. That's probably what it is. I like these. They, they are very classic, like old lip balms though for kids where yeah, they yeah. dry you out in like yeah. five minutes anyway. It's like the, the purpose isn't to be a lip balm. It's just to smell nice and be yeah. fun. Yeah, and be fun for the kids. I love that one. Here's the year 2001. 
2004. So scary. Is he watching her? Oh, she had um it's the first, one. It's the first, it's the first one. one i thought the other one was the first one so one thing that has re remained oh god one thing that that has remained consistent over the years is britney spears success in fragrance it started in 2004 with one fragrance fragrance curious which was so popular it launched a perfume empire for the singer who now has 23 favorite fragrances in her name. Ooh. This one in particular, which is decorated with charms, reminiscent of Brit's famous belly button piercing, sold 500 million bottles by 2013. Wow. It smells like perfume. I don't see honestly. any charms. Generic. Um, it just smells like perfume. It smells like default perfume. Yeah. You know, but very reminiscent of the time though, like a lot yeah. of perfume smelled like this. Yeah, yeah. Very Avon-y. Yeah, I don't like it. I like the other Britney Spears fragrance this just sounds like your auntie's perfume, doesn't it? It does smell more mature than I would have thought Britney's target audience would have been at that time. Yeah, that's that's a good mm. way to put it. It's more mature. More mature. Here's to 2004. R missing you from 2004. Yeah. You went into a time slip and I missed you. <laughs> so here's one I feel like everyone will probably remember if you've been on YouTube since it's early beauty fit And if you were just days. I into didn't finish makeup. talking. No, you didn't know. You had no clue. <laughs> If you were just into makeup before having YouTube, <laughs> Urban Decay's um, Naked Hat. Had it. Ultimately yeah, legend, several bad things. <laughs> Tried to catch you out. Uh, <laughs> I, I stay. Ultimate, ultimate palette. These, these were the ones. Why is it? Is it because it was just like a really good everyday? These hurt. Yeah. What do we have? Really good everyday, but also the the formula, the texture. Would you like a smoky eye? No. Why? This used to be in my kit. Oh. I didn't use it very much though, because well, it was like- Well, how old is it? <laughs> no, this is what I mean. No, thank you. <laughs> it's very old, but it's a prized possession for me. Okay. I would I would use, I would, <clears throat> I would like take it out my kit and like put it on the side <laughs> more than use it. Because like, if you had a naked palette, you, you were, were like, a professional oh makeup on artist. trend. Yeah. yeah. This is what Cosmopolitan have to say about okay, it. Okay, let me hold this. Amazing. This is the palette that look, pretend to use it. Okay. This is a palette that launched an entire naked category for Urban Decay. Although the brand is typically known for its crazy colors, it was this array of neutral shades that had everyone talking about the Urban Decay when it launched in 2010. Since then, the brand has added two naked, pa no, since then, the brand has added Naked 2, Naked 3, Naked Smoky, Naked Basics, Naked 2 Basics, and Naked Heat to the lineup. I feel like the good thing about this was it was just the one palette you needed. So the good thing about this was just the one palette you needed. Well, here's to 2010. Open it, open, open. Wait, because there's a, the original brushes open inside, it. so you have to be really careful. What's here's, to, here's to 2000, missing you from 2010. 2000. Oh my god, I remember this kind of time. Is this when everybody was doing like bo boho she? I did a you wait, two, how old were we in 2014? 15, we were always a year ahead, um, uh, 25. 25, we were 25. I think I did a YouTube video where I did all like metallic uh, tattoos, like as rings and, and bracelets and stuff. I feel like these were the days where people were yes. like oh my copying God. styles of Pinterest yeah. and like recipes and everyone's like following the Pinterest. Yeah, and it, it, stuff like this, like we don't mind, we don't mind using that. Yeah. Should, where should we put one? Probably on your face. No. Cause Puds and say flash tattoos, they call them. Whether you were scrolling through Instagram, watching Bachelor in Paradise on the, on, or on vacation at the beach. Vacation. There was no escaping these metal metallic body tattoos in 2014. Why do I I feel like I missed this. 2014, we were 25. Where would you have been? Lance you were, um... Top man still. You were learning country dancing. Uh, I can spray it on the tattoo. Yeah, yeah. Quick. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god, I look like Nicole Kidman. You do. Oh my god. Imagine we're at, what's the festival everyone goes to that I can't One, to um, to. one does. Wonderland, Wonderland Festival. Glastonbury. And, Glastonbury. You, and you see me and I'm doing this. Yeah. Wearing a Native American headdress. Yes. 
Because that that's was what time. people were doing. Yeah. There's an eyelash in the tattoo. Oh, that's cute! Missing you from two, from 2014. Oh, no. Is this oh, right okay. Now? So, 2015, lip kits by Kylie Cosmetics. Listen, you can have your opinion on the Kardashians. I kind of have none other than the content I produce. This was an absolute genius marketing move. It was, but they didn't do it right. Anyway. anyway. What do you mean they didn't do it right? Well, they, they, they were just a little bit like, um... They did the whole, oh, we sold it out thing mm. when they only, so they launched with fi selling 15,000. Oh, is that it? Yeah. yeah. And like, we sold out, so they created like mass hysteria. Do you know what they also done? This In case you missed my video on it, they, the, the, around about the time Kylie started to feel like overline her lips, they trademarked the Kylie Lip Kit name. However, while this product was being produced, she got more and more lip filler I... until the year later when they finally launched it, 2015, when her lips were filled. So I think this is a good idea to be like, this is how I make my lips look bigger, but that's why it became such a fuss, is because yeah. that's not how she does it. She has lip filler, but also a great marketing. She lip. also claimed that no other brand that makes um, lip products that, are, that have a matching lip liner. Oh, really? Which is fast. Well, she was inspired by Mac. She would use Mac all the time. Kim Kardashian did an interview and she was like, I've seen Kylie do it using Max, whatever, whatever. This is the uh, new packaging. There was an older version. I remember using this on someone and uh, thinking, oh, that's normal. Are they good products? Mm. See, I think that looks gracious. They're not bad products, are they? No, I mean, it's hard to make a bad product nowadays anyway, mm. you know what I mean? Well, you shouldn't be making a bad product nowadays anyway, but some people do. You, you didn't overline your lips, or did you? I can... No. <laughs> I can never tell. I couldn't tell. Is it filler or is it lip product? I feel just like Kylie Jenner. Can I add just a little bit more volume to the bottom? Wow, I look just like Nicole Kidman. See how easy it is to become a makeup and an artist? <laughs> Well, listen, all the rage, all the rage no, in 2015. And yes, uh, they, they made like, you know, hunt tens and tens of pounds. 2017, which kind of honestly brings us up to date. I don't think there's been anything as viral as this product since in the sense that there's not been anything so popular that's lasted in popularity. And this is Fenty Beauty. Rihanna turned the beauty world on its head when she launched her own cosmetics line, which included highlighters, applicators, concealers, and most notably a foundation range with 40 shades. Not only did the product sell out at stores around the world, but Times also named Fenty Beauty one of the 25 mo best inventions of the year. I've got some products here. Thank you. Let's take a look. Why didn't you have a play with these? So I have here um, matchy stick in sand. I think it just says match stick. Match stick in sand. So I'm guessing this is a concealer. It's a foundation. I'm guessing this is a foundation. Wow, that's really yellow on you. Well, is that how you're doing that? Wow, it matches perfect to my body skin. That looks good. Try and open this. I, I love a flesh lip like that. Imagine that with a right color foundation. Can I just show everyone something? Look at all that. <laughs> 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 <sighs> Through the ages we've been, and now it's time to clear and clear ourselves off the so ages. So let's go back just one last time. What year is this? 1993. It's back to 1993. That soon, was it? I, why did I think it was 80s? I, I think it's, yeah, it's, it's just more popular in 1993. Should we watch this? Oh. Yes, let's watch an advert. What? You think your face is special, other people will do. So every time you wash, you use Noxzema and nothing less. It's better than soap. Dissolves oil without overdrying. Soap doesn't. Hey, baby! You'll have your face, face all your life. Take care of it. You'll have your face all your life. Yeah. What if you don't? Your skin's not going anywhere. So use Noxzema. Oh god, you just crack it open a little bit. Yeah, I can I've smell it. It's got this smell of like airport toilet. It smells like Vicks Vicarub. Vicarub. <laughs> and it's eucalyptus, which is... Oh my God. Yeah. 
<laughs> eucalyptus, which can be quite irritating. So how do you use this? Just like a cold cream? Yeah, like a cleansing thing. Generously, uh, apply generously on a wet or dry face with finger at think mark tips and a wet washcloth. Washcloth. <laughs> Gently massage your face using circulation. <laughs> Gently massage your face. Oh God, Chad's gonna be there. Oh my God, I respect my face and I'll have it my whole life. Mmm, <laughs> mmm. It smells like I have a cold. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mmm. Oh, it tastes like it tea. I like the fact that it's very creamy. If you were a 90s kid in, in, uh, if, if you, no. <laughs> Marcus face cut like that. If you were a 90s kid, this 1993 Noxzema commercial featured in Rebecca Gayhart gave you all the feels. The product was so popular, it even got a shout shout out a couple of years later in Clueless. Oh, no way. Took off a lip kit and that's quite a, a, a struggle. I'm just gonna use a tissue like they would have done back then. I might use this in a minute to clean my whole face and just see how I feel. It's a little bit spicy. It's spicy. Yeah, that's good. When I mean, that foundation was never on your face properly day. anyway. It was basically floating above your face the way you put it on. He has got a face and Jimmy's gonna be yeah. there. I hope you like being at a general place that looks like bowling or pizza. <laughs> <laughs> like my lips don't feel like irritated or anything. Or they don't no, feel, like, I mean, this, the, I don't like the mentally feeling that eucalyptus gives me. Fresh, fresh um, feeling. A little bit fresh, but it surprisingly doesn't feel irritated. I would say it's a little bit red, mainly because I'm scrubbing at it with a dry tissue. Yeah, I think I have a candle that smells like this. Like not yeah, even joking, I think yeah, I have yeah. like a eucalyptus candle from Bath and Body Works. Eucalyptus is one of those like, um, Calming fragrances. Yeah, I like that a lot actually. I don't mind that at all. I'll be honest with you. And my mm. skin feels really nice and smooth. It looks fine. It looks fine. Look, it doesn't, it actually looks really nice. Compared to the other side of your face, it looks better even. No, I wouldn't go that far. Yeah, this side's really dehydrated and the going, other side looks normal. Going on it, going on the way you stick you There's so many different hairs on the back there. Going on a date from 1993. Miss, we miss you. Missing from you. 1993. Well, didn't we go through it all? No, what's that song? Didn't we almost, almost have it all? all? Well, we've really gone down the rabbit hole with this one. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember, if you have had ever tried these in the Don't comments miss. down below, Don't let us know. Uh, yeah. For more skincare, follow me, James underscore S underscore Welsh, over on Instagram and TikTok, and James Welsh here on YouTube. For more makeup, you can follow me, Robert Welsh here on YouTube, Robert W L S H on Instagram, and something else in other places. And <laughs> bye, bye. And then do you like whoa? And we're going back in time. Put your hands like, up. Have you whoa. ever ever felt like this? Whoa, do that, Marcus. Whoa, whoa. Marcus, Marcus, do that. All right, okay. <laughs> <laughs>